Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily install PyTorch library. PyTorch is an open source machine learning library. So you can consider it as a library for mathematical computations. So let's see how we can install it. To install PyTorch, you need a package manager. You can use pip for this. So pip is a package management system which allows you to install packages on Python. So for pip, you need Python. So guys, at first we will see how we can install Python 3.9.5. That is the current version and then pip. So let's see. Let's install both. At first, we will download Python 3.9.5, the current version. Go to the browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. Here and type Python on Google search. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible. Python.org, click on it. On clicking, it will open. Now, let us go to downloads on keeping the cursor the current version will be visible you can straight away click on download for windows so here in always the current version will be visible here in you can read that python 3.9 plus versions cannot be used on windows 7 or earlier so i'll click on it to download click on it so it's only 27 mb it will take some seconds to download you need to wait for some seconds so guys as you can see we have downloaded it so it's an exe file double click on it to install minimize this so herein you can see guys the installer started here at first i'll add python 3.9 to path this is a very important step so now click on customize installation from here in you can see optional features you want documentation pip yes we want pip as i told you before it's very important why because pip is a package manager so if you want to install any packages or library on python you need to use pip so we will install pip also ideally i'll show you what it is after installing this is an id for python wherein we will run our first python program i'll display everything pi launcher yes keep as it is looks fine click on next now you can see yes i want to install for all users and rest keep as it is it will also add python to environment variables which is fine and it will get installed under program files and a folder will get created python 3.9 if you want to change the location click on browse and select the location wherein you want to install i'll click on cancel because for me the following is fine and it's a default so it should be fine now click on install now the installation started So guys, the setup was successful. As you can see here, click on close. So guys, we saw how we can easily install Python as well as pip. Now we will go to CMD. On start, we will type CMD and click on open. Herein, we will verify that we have installed Python and pip successfully or not so that we can move further. Type Python hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here you can see we installed it successfully. The version is visible. Same go for pip pip hyphen hyphen version and press enter and the version number is visible that means we have successfully installed it so guys after installing python and pip we will use the we will use the command pip install torch for pytorch library now just press enter here you can see it is downloading it's 222 mb So guys, you can see we have successfully installed PyTorch. Now I'll type Py and let us try to run something. For that, plus first we will import Torch. Now on pressing enter, there won't be any error because we installed it above. Press enter. You can see no error. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily install the PyTorch library on Python on our Windows 10 system. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel number things.